It's possibly a midlife crisis. Come on. <laughs> 27. Oh my god. I'm not confident, but where there's a will, there's a way. We'll see. While I was back in England, I managed to persuade Steve McClure to come out and help me choose my 8B+. That was brilliant. He was coming out at the end of September and got me really psyched to climb hard and get fit over the summer. My finger injury started healing quite well. The core training Ollie sent me was working and I was getting fitter and stronger. I was even doing 7C, 7C+, and not even getting pumped. The thought of him coming out, I must admit, kept me going through some pretty boring hours of training on my own at the wall as well. Unfortunately, like everything with me, didn't seem to last. On a scheduled rest day when, as Tom said, I should have been focusing on the goal, I managed to get out, go out climbing, drink too much coffee and get psyched. Jumping on a 7C plus that I shouldn't have been on, I tore my shoulder. Oh, oh, fuck. Steve arrived a month later and I was totally bummed that it didn't look like I'd better climb with him. After four weeks off, I'd only just started training again, so I thought I'd start by getting his advice on that. So, uh, yeah, this is where I train. Um, it's pretty good, really, I and mean, it's owned by the local club. Uh, the, what's the word you're looking for? It's um, old school. That's the word. Suits me perfectly, then, I think. Being old. <laughs> and school. Come on. Get those old muscles working. So if that if that's the goal of the of the training yeah. circuit, the, what the grade is not relevant. Right. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. you work out what you're trying to train, and you work out how to train it, and you set something to do that. Yeah. Progression from this circuit is just make the feet make the feet bad, and make the make it more body orientated. Well, and then you're bringing in your core. Yeah. yeah Stuff okay. like that. Just, okay, just, that that makes sense. Because actually, you're right. I need to just think about it. Is it doing? what it's supposed to do so that's uh, that's a good tip actually yeah with, with the training that i do i have absolutely no idea about what grade anything is at all so we're going to go on all the routes you're going to help me pick one out but in general what what is your advice for choosing a project so picking a project is quite a tricky process it applies to everybody but the advice i'd give is first of all Choose a route that inspires you. You've got to want to do it. Secondly, choose a route that plays to your strengths. You know, don't choose a route that's your weaknesses. You know, this is the hardest thing you've done. Thirdly, choose a route that's realistic in terms of conditions, when it gets in the sun, how far away is it, does it get wet, all these things really count. Big, but, but hard, hard rock up your mood. So, great AP plus that one. One of the best I've done for ages. Big moves, good holds. Not super technical. It's about right for the grade. I'm not sure it's the right one for Richie though. It, it could be okay, but it's quite far from where he lives. Don't know, 50-50 so far. Man, that was awesome, psyched about that, that was brilliant. To get a flash of that was just like totally not expected. Is it the one for Richie? It could be, you know, it's pretty good, it's technical, it's not super, super hard. I think that could be good for him, and it's close to where he lives, doesn't demand massive power. Right, so far, I reckon this could be a good choice. This is definitely front runner. Okay, so it's going well. I've got like one move up and I'm already flipping stuck. So, well, this was fun, yes. This 8B plus is ridiculously hard. It would be really, really hard, I think, in perfect conditions, never mind in the ridiculous conditions I've just tried it in. So I've been thoroughly sandbagged by Richie. To be honest, for Richie, no. Really good route. In fact, I really enjoyed that. Is it for Richie? It could be, you know. It might be a little bit too powerful though. I mean, it's really close to where he lives. That is a bonus. But it might just be a bit too powerful. There's a lot of core tension going on in there. 
I don't know whether he's been training that hard enough. It doesn't really suit his style. I'm going to say maybe, but, but not top of the list so far. That is as good as it gets. Hard one though, that is definitely a hard 8B+. One of the hardest 8B pluses I've done for a long time. And does it suit Richie? Well, I mean it's a really good route, it will inspire him, but it's top of the grade. I'm going to put it second on the list, not the top of the list. The $60,000 question, which, if any of the routes, would you recommend for well, me? And I want to choose two potentials, first of all. Um, going to be in the house okay and this one here so it's a kind right. of toss-up between the two it's almost like which motivates you most fantastic week Steve came out did me a big favor got on a load of routes and it was great because I kind of realized how hard they are again so I know how much I have to try it's great watching someone who just tries really hard um, so that's inspiring because I like trying hard so I think Give it a couple more weeks, start really gently again and get back into the programme. I've still got four months to go, I can do it. Every time I come, it gets more and more ridiculous. Come on. 